Hi, how are you? Thank you so much for watching Tom Watch the Music. Today, unboxing day. Yeah. I don't remember what uh, Stumac sent. They have really great tools, do you know? I will show you that too. But anyway, so sometimes I request to ch you know try out on my guitar some parts. They have a really great uh, Wilkinson bridge. They have uh, so many different parts, like you know um, tuners too. So anyway, so let me open this up and find out what's in there. And um, it's really really tiny, tiny uh, you know one. But I thought just funny, fun to do. You know, open. You know, unboxing. See, already, already struggling how to open. Uh -huh. Nice. Yes. Uh -huh. This is I want it. What is this? Spartel. I, I don't know. How do you pron pronounce right? Spartel? Back in Japan, I thought Spartel. You know. I had, I had, I don't know when I had this, you know, um, really interesting. This guitar, a really good, you know, has a, and this guitar has Wilkinson Bridge, really beautiful. I like Trev Wilkinson. Stay in tune so well. This is like, you know, kit. This is really um, guitar kit by Stu Mac. Really, really great. And then these, they sell um, flat. I don't know how we call this one. <clears throat> sort of quarter pounder, like a little bigger uh, single coil. And this is an offset <clears throat> humbucker, like a fender, you know. So anyway, this is parts are really great. And so this guitar has Spartel tuner and you know steel Mac kit and special single coil, a little bit more bigger sounding single coil and offset <coughs> pickups and um, Wilkinson bridge. So wow, this is this is really cool. The reason is so this guitar can see Seymour Duncan. You know, Seymour Duncan is really famous for <clears throat> guitar pickup, right? So why not just learn a little bit of history? So I think Yubi Shokai, Yubi Sound or Yubi Shokai in Japan, <clears throat> they worked with uh, Seymour Duncan and uh, Philip Kabuki. Kabuki, wait a minute, not Kabuki. Kubiki? I'm so sorry. I completed Kubiki. Yeah, Kubiki. That's so sorry. Yeah, Philip Philip Kubiki, who who used to work at um, Fender, you know, more like a custom shop. You know, there's a late late I think late seventies, so early eighties, maybe eighty two, eighty four. This is like you know eighty, probably eighty three. I got this guitar. I believe they started like <clears throat> early eighty, eighty two maybe. And uh, Philip Kubiki. I hope so. He's a, yeah. He made this neck from California. So this is like a little flat, flat, you know, radius. <clears throat> and then um, flat radius and this is ebony fingerboard. Really, really different, you know. And this is more like a super strat. Not super strat, but really good strat back in the 80s, you know, compared to back then compared to fender this is really really nice so that's why after i got you know fender mustang 1978 uh i didn't then after that i got i bought um <clears throat> 1967 year 335 that's how i got understand the vintage and great about vintage a bit then 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 the fender back then wasn't really great reputation back then you know early 80s and very heavy too, you know, and and expensive, you know. So so the this one, I don't know how much I paid. This probably two thousand. Yeah, around two thousand, I believe. 
<clears throat> but anyway, so this guitar was original, all original, okay? And um, then, <laughs> look at this, has a hole through it. So then, after that, I was really, you know, influenced by Steve Lukather. And so I wanted to have, you know, different type of a bread. Now I have um, here, um, Wilkinson, really great. But <clears throat> back then I had a Kaler. Kaler, do you know Kaler? It just, I had, so that's why I have a little bit of holes there. Because they have a, you know, kind of a locking system there. But then I brought that guitar to Berkeley. And then um, <clears throat> I start to understand the Kaler system it's a little bit like not muted sounds, but not really sustained well, you know. Then um, I was into <clears throat> more blues, you know, end of a uh, Berkeley. I'm already talking so many things, and so I decided to bring back. But okay, back then already I changed color. I have an EMG, <clears throat> you know, mid boost, and um, this component here. This is. I used to have a battery here, you know, because there's a holes, you know. So I had a battery and EMG, Kaler, and then start playing blues again. And I want to have a regular one. So I just cha I changed to regular, very basic, you know, regular tremolo and the regular, you know, vintage type tuners. Oh, maybe not. Uh, somehow I changed to this one. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vintage. I remember. I had a vintage tuners. And then. Messed up really. Because. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a totally different story. I, because when I was. I, I, I don't know how old I was. 20, 27. <clears throat> around there. I quit the cigarettes and then one time I was very frustrated playing and I throw this guitar to the floor you know a little frustration you know from uh, not not smoking <laughs> then I really messed up the headstock because all bent in him then I brought to uh, Wolf it's a repair guy near the Berkeley then uh, somehow he talked me into this one like this so I don't know why, but I put this. Yeah, crazy. But then, before or after, somehow I had a, this one too, Spartzel. Oh no, maybe I had a Spartzel first. Now I'm confused. Anyway, so I bring back to this one. I really thought of Spartzel. Spartzel, and then, you know, uh, Wilkinson, Tremor. I thought it's a really great way to do it. That's it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Almost. Sorry. I forgot about. Forgot about throwing box. Oh my God. This is uh, horrible. People waiting now. Ready? Oh my God. That's not good. That's not good. See, this is really hard. Like maybe I should throw it. That's not good either. This is really hard. More than I thought, this is hard because here you go. No. Wow. See, this object is so small. I give up. Okay. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. And also, also, like you know, if you like a steel Mac, I love this one. Do you know this one? It's really good tools. Yeah, so many little tools. And this. And uh, just in case I have, you know, oh, two, you know, I can't. I have these too, you know, right? Oops. One more. Small one. Oh, I could do that. 
this one too. And see, this is great. A lot of different sizes, you know. So I usually bring this one everywhere. I have a the Berkeley, I have a gig bag. So this is really great. But also, <clears throat> Kanji gave me this one long time ago. So this is really great, you know. <clears throat> when you just see like you sometimes, you know, like a little loose here, you know. So like a right size for that. But that's like already, you know, good um, setup and just tighten just a little bit. But what's a, what's a, pro what's a problem is sometimes, you know, I have a student has this already really loose. Then that case, if you tighten and they ended up inside moving, you know, I can really explain. But this, this um, tool, like this tip, if you stick into the a tuner, I mean, what do you call, not tuner. So like this. So like, you know, you have to be careful, but if you stick in, so then, you know, like a st stops there. Somehow, the tip, this tip, okay, catches, um, Input, input jack, okay? You have to do it slowly. So like... <laughs> Sorry about that. So, so this tip, you know, like going, then hold the uh, input jack. Then use this outside, going to the um, parts outside, and then you turn, so it means outside, you know, you turn inside, stays in, so that you won't break the you know cable inside. Okay, so this is really really uh, good. And sometime uh, when you measure like any parts of a guitar, you know, string height, whatever you do, this is really helpful. And sometimes I use this one too, um, like radius gauge so that if I want to do a quick check that you know um, different type of uh, this is a 12 this is a 10 and then 7.25 you know so like a different size like sometimes like you know guitars are really really not well set up so I use that to help my students what's this <laughs> like that yeah and then sometimes open some can you know <laughs> that's about it all right thank you so much for watching Tomoshi the music and thank you so much to mac or always support me you know to make my guitar sounds great thank you if you like my channel Tomoshi the music please subscribe my channel Tomoshi the music and you know share with your friends and if you like to study more guitar wisdom will help you more all right see you soon take care bye